Hello friends, in this session we will discuss and understand how exactly to detect pedestrians. Uh, you need to detect the people who are walking on the road and the image can be fed or the video feed can be given and it's pretty easy for you to do with the available functions in OpenCV. This is the image that I have taken for reference and we got to detect the pedestrians from this image. You can see that there are many pedestrians out there and we will try to see if we can detect all the pedestrians are right. This is our input image and I have stored that image as pedestrian pedes.png and it's available in my home directory. Let's go ahead and understand the code that we have written for it and in this we need to understand one new thing called as imutils which is a new module that we need to use and we have to import it. If you have not installed it already you need to install it with pip3 install imutils and it will be installed and that's very much useful for it. Now for the pedestrian detection, it's very easy with OpenCV because the OpenCV come with the pre-trained hog, which is nothing but the histogram of oriented gradients and the linear SVM model. Both are already available. So our task is very simple. Just use these methods and with that you can detect the complete pedestrians out there in the input image or in the input video feed. So how do we do it? Very simple. We go with hog equal to cv2 dot hog descriptor. That's what I explained to you right now. Hog is nothing but the histogram of oriented gradients. And then we have also linear SVM model which is already available. That's the next line. So hog dot set SVM detector cv2 dot hog detector descriptor underscore get default people detector. We use this predefined pre-trained method and it's very easy for us. Now we are taking the input image. The input image is the one that I have shown you the pedestrian and there are pedestrians out there in that image and we will have to use that. Now what is the next step? We need to resize and I am using imutils here. imutils is going to help me out in resizing but you got to install imutils if you have not done that earlier. The image, the width, everything is passed as an argument <coughs> Excuse me, and it's done. So what is the next step? The next step is to detect the pedestrians. Very simple. We can do that by using the input image and specifying the wind stride, I mean the striding, you know what is striding, right? I have explained it clearly in my deep learning exercise. Striding is moving in the matrix, moving in the image and then padding. How much do we need to pad? The padding is also explained clearly there and scaling. All these three are specified as arguments and with that we will detect the pedestrians. Once the pedestrians are detected, I need to identify and draw a rectangle. For each pedestrian, we need to draw a rectangle and left, right, top, bottom, X, Y, W, H are determined and we are drawing the rectangle. And once the rectangle is drawn clearly, I'm going to show you that output image and that's it. The result is all available for you. Once I compile this code and run this code, you'll be able to understand how exactly the pedestrians are detected using this simple code. The only thing that you need to remember is use the hog, which is pre trained and already available stuff. And I am show finally has to be used to show the finally rectangle overlaid input image. Now I have run it. You can see that I've just run it. And this is the output image that we are getting. You can see that the pedestrians are marked appropriately and you get the results in a pretty nice way. Though there is a cycler that cyclist is also uh, found out, but that's fine. That's it's most accurate in the rest of the aspects. So this is the simplest way that you can use uh, the OpenCV predetermined functions to detect the pedestrians. And I hope you like the session. If you like the session, please uh, give a like, subscribe and refer to your friends. Also, if you have comment suggestions, please go ahead and type it in the comment section. Thank you.